Welcome to a festive vlogmas here in Hawaii. I just came outside for the first time during this trip and wanted to share this moment with you. It was dark up until about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna bring my laptop outside and just work all day here, have my Christmassy coffee going, and it's just the same beautiful, lush view as it always is. You can see the sun coming up in the distance there. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Everyone else has yet to really get stirring and I just feel really peaceful and like it's just gonna be like a long day in a good way because with the time difference, um, I'll still have some daylight here um, after I think I'll be able to finish work before um, the sun goes down. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'll share anything exciting with you as I go along, but for the next few days I'll still be working and kind of gearing up for Christmas and getting things done before year end. Um, but this is pretty great office setup right now for me that I'm really looking forward to. We're gonna go run some quick after work errands and I keep thinking it's gonna get dark, but thanks to the time difference, it's actually not, which is so delightful. The beach may have to wait, but we came out just to have a little breather, enjoy the beautiful scenery for a minute before going to get some tasty food for all the things that we want to make. So I thought I would show you my outfit because this is actually a really nice affordable option for just like beach vacations. This dress is from Amazon. It's not super well made, but it's really cute, I think, for just a long like beachy dress. It would make a great cover up for the beach as well. Um, and it comes in a lot of different colors. I think I showed you the teal one a long time ago. But then the real thing I wanted to show you are these shoes. So these are Anne Klein. And I bought them on a little bit of a whim at the Nordstrom Rack here in Hawaii when they didn't really have any comfortable sandals that I liked. And they are so comfortable. I think one of the reviews online, and I just checked that they're still available in lots of different colors, says that the purchaser is very satisfied and I echo that sentiment. I'm very satisfied because I've worn them like almost every day, every single time I've been here since then. And they haven't given me a single blister, which for me is a really big deal. Um, and then this is a teaser. I'm gonna talk more about this when I do my handbag unboxing for my Bewebe bag that I bought. But um, this is from Bulgari and I love it. It was a real bargain, it is pre-owned um, from The Real Real. And it's definitely a unique one. It doesn't look like any other handbag I've ever seen and I have no idea what the style name is. So I'll show it more in that video, but I thought I would point it out for now. This is my first time wearing it, so that feels really special and I'm excited about it. And let's go grocery shopping. Lady, your mommy wanted to wait, so we've waited until now, but it's well past time to start the Poodle Mess calendar. Look at that, what's day number one? <gasps> oh, it crinkles. Is this good? Yeah? Oh, yes, yes, here you go. Do we wanna play fetch? Here, don't.
Good morning, everyone. It's another Hawaii day. This one a little more cloudy. I'm wearing a new skirt that I just unboxed from the too many packages that I shipped over here. It's from Johnny Wass. Um, and every year um, around this time of year, there's a lot of sales on Johnny Wass things like skirts and dresses. They're really comfortable. They're really very expensive, full price. So I never buy them full price, but usually score, you know, old tees and stuff on sale. And the designs are always pretty much the same, but in different fabrics. So I have my coffee, my herringbone necklace, some shiny diamonds and a sort of messy greasy ponytail because I want to wear my hair curly for the first time since it's, been, since it's been dyed but I haven't had the chance to really think about that yet so I'm gonna do that tomorrow I think. You saw yesterday's clip this is my birthday cake that my mom was really sweet to make me belatedly it was so fun it's the same cake I've had since I was a little kid it's um, her homemade cake she makes this all from scratch. It's got raspberry on the inside, crème pâtissière, so it's like a, a pastry cream essentially. It's the kind of thing you'd find on the inside of an éclair. She puts some Grand Marnier in it and then the whole thing is covered in chocolate ganache because I hate icing, so I've never had icing on my birthday cakes. When it rains, it really pours here. Look at that. I feel like I'm in a tropical waterfall. What's behind door number two? Oh, this looks like a good one for tug of war. Yes, yes. Yes, oh, that's better, yes. Not feeling the tug of war. <laughs> Lady Poodle. He's such a good poodle. Yes. <laughs> well, mom's cooking is the best cooking. Oh, really? This is mac and cheese with her bechamel sauce. What kind of cheese did you use? Uh, a bit of uh, Gruyere and a little bit of um, cheddar. Oh, okay. The classic from when I was a child was with Imaltal. You yes. always used to do that. Well, it depends what but then I feel like you've grown to like cheddar more as have I over the years. So, and then healthy salad. Perfect dinner. <sighs> Aloha everyone. I feel like I can take a breath now. As you may know, it's closing season for business attorneys. It's super crazy busy and it has been like that to a huge extent over the last few days. And I'm finally with my feet in the sand not dark yet. We're gonna have some margaritas. I have my book. This is what I'm reading right now. I know lattes and literature is overdue but I really haven't read that many fun books since I finished the bar so after this vacation should be the perfect time. I actually bought a new Kindle um, and a new cover and everything because mine was so old. Pretty much like getting to be almost 10 years old probably or close to it so here I am on beautiful Kahala Beach. It's perhaps gonna rain. We don't know for sure. Usually if there's dark clo clouds over Cocoa Head, um, it indicates rain is coming. But you know, in Hawaii you really never know and it tends to pass quickly and the weather forecast is not very useful. A little sunshine going on on my vitamin D starved legs and it's fun and makes me feel optimistic to see weddings here again. I won't invade their privacy too much um, but I believe from the amount of red that I'm seeing that there's an Indian wedding going on here today which is beautiful um, and I've seen a few on the Kahala Resorts Instagram page and I think my mom has seen some going on as well um, so that's really fun because this is a very popular destination for weddings here on the beach but they completely stopped for quite a while so it's nice to see them happening again in all those smiling faces and pretty dresses so yeah nice to take a breather nice to connect with you for a little while and hoping to really start to get to really indulge in that festive vacation like feeling over the next few days
All right, third day of Poodlemas, which is the 23rd, 22nd. Yes. Yeah. Oh, a snowflake. How ironic for Hawaii. <laughs> the crinkle toys. You want it? Yeah? Okay, go get it. Go get it. Is it good? Yeah. I think this is a good one. Yesterday was a disappointment, but today's is a good one. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready a little bit later because I'm finally slowly tuning out of work and getting into full on holiday vacation mode today. I'm so happy and excited and grateful for all the opportunities that I've had this year, including working on the work that we've just finished. There is a celebration bowl of pineapple, my first bite of pineapple this trip. It's always the best bite, kind of like with coffee or red wine. Mm. It just, it just does taste better here. It really does. I don't know if part of it is the atmosphere of being here, but it always tastes extra sweet. So I thought we would do a little sit down and have a little handbag chat in the middle of today's vlog. I did wear this several times already and it's purchased from The Real Real. It's Bulgari, I love it. But I also wanted a bigger bag that can hopefully fit my laptop. So we're gonna try that out together. I measured and I think it's gonna be okay, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I feel like both of these bags are pretty representative of the fact that I'm starting to care a lot more about the quality of the leather from what I see in reviews versus um, the brand per se or, you know, generally my Chanel obsession, which is still there. I just think the price hike is pretty crazy now. So I bought this bag and I'm so pleased with it. It really exceeded my expectations. It was under 500. Um, I remember it was hovering around the 500 mark on the real reel and I thought that was too much for a pre-owned bag that I didn't even know the style name of. I've never seen it, you know, since then. Um, but I thought the detailing on it was really gorgeous because it has these kind of Roman looking coins on it. Um, and this weighs down the flap really nicely actually. So even though it doesn't have a closure, it just works really well. Another detail that I really liked about it is that it has three sections. But you can't really tell that from the outside. So Chanel actually has um, at least one style that is like this. I think it's called the accordion flap. And I really like it, but it's completely split, I think. So the sections go all the way up. So it kind of really does look very accordion-like, whereas this one's a little bit more subtle. And I also really like the way it has a small handle, which would be great for dinner. And then you can tuck the other strap inside and the long strap is also detachable. So the detail on it, including the hardware, is very substantial, very luxurious. I do think of Bulgari as primarily a jewelry brand, um, even though they do a lot of different things. And so I think this bag fits in with that really well. And I'm really pleased with it so far. So we'll see if this other bag is just as pleasing or not, um, but let me try and show you this box. It's crazy. I can't believe this box got here and was this big. My mom sent me a photo and I was like, did I order something giant by mistake? Look at it. Look at that. It's so big. I can't even fit it in the frame. Um, so yeah, I think it's a box within a box kind of scenario, and I'm glad they kept it safe because it is a very pricey bag. And I have never actually seen this bag in real life. I've been to the Loebe store at um, the Galleria here in Honolulu before that closed. So I don't even think this bag had launched back then. I don't think it existed. It's back when their main kind of thing that I saw in magazines was um, these little elephant and animal pouches that were really cute, but I mean so expensive for what they are and how quirky they are. Um, but they definitely have some neat ideas. And I believe, you know, without having opened this, here's my theory, that the leather is gonna be really top notch, like up and above, even like your YSL and so forth. And you know how much I love my YSL. I'm actually going there next. 
um, but I think it's going to be really top notch and the reason is uh, my mom got her briefcase when she was working from there and it still looks pristine. So it's got some years on it and it's pretty amazing that it still looks that good. So um, I'm thinking that this will be the same, but we will see. We will find out together. This is more the size that I kind of expected and it's kind of a little bit silly. Like there's nothing else inside it. There isn't even any tissue paper or anything like that, but I still have no regrets. There's a return label. Um, I still have no regrets about buying from this site that I will link down below because it's duty free. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it was a good shopping experience and it was very fast. As I mentioned in my previous vlog, this handbag is to celebrate getting my Washington bar card. And I mentioned that um, in my previous to last vlog, I guess. And I ordered it that day and it got here like two days later, I think, which for Hawaii is um, pretty fast. So. What does it say here? It just says for Nueve Anagram tote bag. Okay. So one of the things that is very confusing about this handbag is that it comes in multiple sizes and they are only subtly different. So as opposed to a Chanel flap where you can very obviously see, you know, like the difference between um, the jumbo and a medium and a small, they're all, you know, very discernibly different. This tote comes in at least two sizes, possibly even three. I think there might be like a really tiny one that exists, um, but I haven't actually seen it for sale. Um, but this is the larger size. I'm not gonna say the largest size that exists, but it's the larger size out of the three that I've seen photos of. If you don't wanna put a laptop in it, you just wanna do like a small tablet in your daily essentials, it's actually gonna be a pretty similar size to the Chanel medallion tote, which is one of my favorite bags and probably still my Chanel best buy to this day because since it's vintage and long gone in terms of them making it, the price for that hasn't quite climbed um, too much yet, although I purchased mine for $880, I think, a few years back, and now they're hovering around $1,500. So you can still like see the crazy price difference there. So, here it is. It is nicely wrapped, which is great. You can see I do really like their logo because I feel like it's quite subtle. A neat logo that they have because I like how symmetrical it is and that it is relatively subtle for brand logos. Wait, oh no, we have a nut situation going on. Can't believe I've been here for days and haven't opened this yet. Oh, it's so soft. What does it smell like? Oh, yes. Mmm. I feel like it's transporting me to Europe. The beautiful leather shops. Oh, I love the color. Oh, I feel like it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be, and I really like that. I thought it would be a little bit more like caramel -y. if you can see in my leopard spots there's like a kind of caramel color i really like that it's actually a little bit more it's not a super cool brown but it's not super it's got no orangey tones which is really great so get rid of all of this oh, nice dust bag very substantial feeling actually very subtle tissue papers and then you're kind of like not left with that much right because it's a soft Toad, so it's there's not going to be that much for us to explore to this um, but what I thought was really neat about the bag is that you can tuck in these long handles so let me show you what it looks like on this a little bit there we go so here's what it looks like on and it's not too enormous compared to my size I'm 5'4 um, so you can see where it sits um, but I just think it's a very neat design and um, reminiscent of one of my Louis Vuitton bags um, that you can tuck in the handles and then wear it like this. Isn't that neat? And then it's a little bit more dressy, I think. And these handles, I actually had to research this a little bit because I wasn't sure from photos if these were more of like a raffia, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but you know, that kind of chair feeling hard material like you see on beach bags, or if it was leather, but it's actually leather. And I think this woven detail supports the price tag a little bit so it hovers around 22 2300 depending on which site you purchase it from i got a 10 percent coupon code that i'll include for you 
um, down below that I used, but um, I think, you know, you can really see the workmanship there. It's kind of an unusual weave. It's not braided exactly. And I just love how much those handles just tuck in and then you really don't see them, which is really neat. And I like that the logo is embossed. So it's pretty subtle. I mean, you're getting some bright lighting on it, but in darker lighting, it's not gonna be really all that obvious. And the other side is completely plain. So you could flip it if you wanted to. Um, and then the inside is unfinished. It is not lined and I don't have a problem with that, but I do know that a lot of you prefer a lined bag, which is interesting. And I totally understand why. It definitely would make it look more finished, but I enjoy the experience of both sides of the leather, especially with a bag like this. And on the inside it says Hueve, made in Spain. It's got two pockets. And I apologize if I'm not pronouncing the name of the brand perfectly. It is my first time kind of saying it a lot. It's got this tie here, and to be honest, I doubt I will ever use it. But it's nice to have, especially if you were taking it through an airport or something like that, which I probably wouldn't do. I try and always use a carry-on and not a fancy leather bag when I go on planes. So I'm just going to undo that because I don't want it to get bent with the humidity. And I genuinely like don't think I'm gonna use it very much um, but yeah here's what it looks like I love these handles more than I thought I would I'm definitely keeping it I was keeping it at first sight when I saw and smelled the leather um, but then kind of feeling these handles and feeling that they are stiff and substantial but also you know they have a nice luxury feel to them they're not scratchy or anything you know on your arm very gorgeous moment of truth we all know that I'm like so attached I probably wouldn't send it back even if it didn't fit but it would be a little bit of a shame yes yes I can still measure yay that's great uh, look at that it's perfect this means that it's going to fit virtually anyone's laptop because this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro so I don't think Mac makes a bigger one than this one I like a big screen, so yeah. And you know, obviously putting a heavy laptop like that and carrying it for hours is going to damage the handles and the structure of the bag over time. So it's not an ideal scenario, but if I'm purchasing a tote, I want it to fit. Do you know what I mean? Like I want it to be an option that is open to me. Um, so I think this is a nice, alternative to the Neverfull for, from Louis Vuitton as well, which has very skinny handles that can't ultimately handle a ton over time, although mine is still looking very good. Um, but the price of that bag has climbed a lot from the more affordable kind of entry level piece that it was when I first, you know, joined YouTube and it was all the rage. So it's nice to have another, you know, European luxury alternative to that bag. Look who I found! <laughs> hello! Your first hello! <laughs> Here we are on beautiful Waikiki. I can't tell that it was flooded. I saw these crazy photos. It was so sad. It was really bad. Right? But look at that grass. It looks like so perfect, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> We're returning an unflattering bathing suit at Victoria's Secret. And then we are Saint Laurent bound. And hopefully Yumi is there. Um, she's just the most wonderful sales associate. If you ever do come here, they have really good Hawaii discounts on handbags. They're not shoes or belts, I think, are excluded, but um, it really is a wonderful place to shop and they're very welcoming, which is nice. Ta-da! Look at all the beautiful wallets. It's like a chocolate box of wallets. And then bigger ones down here. Oh yeah, that's a limited edition, I think. Yeah, let's see. I feel like these are a better size. And as you know, a pair of earrings is gonna go in here for you guys. Now I just need to find the perfect one. Okay. It's like mommy and baby. It's so cute, right? It's okay. That's the mommy. That's the baby. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm looking at bigger wallets, maybe for myself, because I just picked one up for you guys. I'll show you what that looks like later. Um, but I'm checking this one out. I do really like a fun color for a wallet because I always go for very neutral colors for handbags. I guess this one is a flat one like that. Yeah. One. This one is flat. Let's see what it looks like inside. Can you open it? Yeah. 
Yeah. More like a wallet type of. I kind of like the zipper on this one. What do you think? Well, the problem is you have this. That's true. I'm not sure. What does the inside look like here with the zipper? That's the problem. Coins, but you know. I know you nobody ever has coins anymore. Not really. Yeah. So yeah. You know, just for parking sometimes, and even then, I never have any. <laughs> Probably this one. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you like what I got? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I think it's really festive. Me too. And it was really nice to see you. We. It's been a moment. Um, so now we're in line. We're gonna see how long it takes because we don't have infinite time. But this is the famous Louis Vuitton building. It's an architectural masterpiece, and we're gonna see what kind of wallets they have for me because I haven't been to the store in a really long time. Nothing too exciting so far, but lots of classics. I like the pink. And I asked her if they had any limited editions because I know around the holidays often they do. Looking festive! <laughs> Sadly, they didn't have anything colorful at uh, Louis Vuitton. But the Tiffany store is looking pretty. Look at that giant birdie with jewels. It's simple. It's just. Yeah. But it's so short. Surprisingly, given how many hundreds of times I've been here, kind of, well, we're not lost, but we're trying to find. Um, this desk for parking validation, which you get for purchases of over $10 here, but it's kind of an illusory offer if there's nowhere to actually validate it. Merry Christmas Eve from myself and the poodle. And I kind of feel like we should go more in order today and tomorrow. So we'll give her the Christmas Eve toy, which would be 11. <gasps> Yes, I knew it would be something different and exciting because that's usually the case for advent calendars. Lady, look at this. <gasps> it's a babal. A babal. Oui. Ah, shishi. <gasps> yes. Yes. Shishi babal. Yes. Good job. Good job, lady. Yes. And we have some Christmas Eve fishies going and then a duck for Christmas dinner a little bit later. Not that much later. <laughs> it's gonna be a day of eating. Hello everyone. Changed into a new dress, which looks like the dress that the Little Mermaid makes out of that old sail and the braided um, rope, but it was on clearance on the real reel and I loved the fabric. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like gold thread. Oh yeah, there you go. It's got gold thread running through it. It's just, a little bit unflattering I don't know it's okay it's cute um, it'll do for now and then I'm gonna change to take Christmas photos in a little bit and then we're gonna have Christmas dinner which my mom is making right now she's making the dot boyfriend's getting ready for photos so everyone is otherwise engaged and I have some time to myself and with you to wrap some presents but before I get into that let me show you what the giveaway prize is for this vlogmas and this is finally the official entry video i'm sorry for leaving it to the last um, but i think it'll be kind of fun because i'm now going to take a little bit of a break um a well-deserved break um from everything for a couple of weeks and then my first video that i put up in um, Washington when I get back I will announce the giveaway winner and I will also announce it on Instagram as well um, so please leave some information in the comments down below it can be your Instagram handle your Twitter handle something like that where I can send you a direct message unfortunately YouTube is no good for that anymore and all you need to do is follow me on here and on Instagram to enter nothing fancy and then you can enter to win this and your chance will be pretty good because I'm not going to promote this giveaway anywhere else. Um, it's kind of like an advent calendar, a secret surprise. So here's what I got from the new Saint Laurent store on Waikiki yesterday from Yumi. She was wonderful as always and found this for me. And I always think it's so funny the way the bow goes on the back. But what is nice about their packaging, even though it's otherwise like very plain, almost a little bit underwhelming <laughs> compared to the luxury price tag is the plain packaging makes it easy for me to open it and show you what I got without, you know, ruining the experience for the recipient. So that's going to be a little cloth, I think, for you to wipe it down with. It has a mini tiny dust bag that I think is absurdly cute. I feel like usually they're envelopes, but I like that this one is a drawstring. 
And then in all of its beautiful splendor, here is this wallet and it's looking more purple than it actually is because the lighting in here is a little bit funny. You can see I look a little bit green as well. It's because there's so much greenery outside of um, this beautiful big palm tree and everything is kind of blue here too. Um, the best way to describe it is like it's a slightly cooler tone to the classic Cartier red if you've ever seen Cartier leather goods in their signature color or their wrapping. This is the same color as, as that but it's a little tiny bit cooler toned. Um, so here it is, and I think it's so beautiful. See, here we go, and it's a brand new one. It wasn't the display um, that I saw, and there's a secret pocket at the back. Maybe you could put ID there that you don't use too often or some cash, and then a middle section for coins or anything like that. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tuck in the little hoops that I will be launching. Oh. Wrong pouch, I'll explain this in a second. Uh, oh, here's the right one. Um, here's the little hoops that I'm gonna be launching in the new year. And these are solid 14 karat gold, yellow gold, in a twisted pattern. I've been wearing them a lot throughout Vlogmas. You've definitely seen them on my ears the last few days. Just love them. They're polished, they're shiny, they're understated, and they're really high quality and made in Italy. And so I'm gonna tuck these in here. And then we're gonna tuck them into the little wallet. I really wanted to be able to do this. I think I might have to fold the pouch a little bit though to make it work. There we go. And then you can put more cards. There's two generous card slots at the front. But for now, I'm just gonna close this up like so. Pop it back in the cute little baby dust bag, like so. Back into the box and I will fiddle with the bow later to try and make it look right. I'm never gonna get it as cute as Yumi, of course, but I'll try my best and I will send the winner the bag as well because why not? So if you watch my gift guide, you actually already know partly what I'm getting for my boyfriend. So I won't say that too loudly because you know he's gonna get out of the shower at some point and hear me. Um, but there are a few more things that you haven't seen. There's fishing backpack and another jacket here and a few more things that um, I won't kind of bore you with their things that are kind of specific to him. Um, but I'll show you some of the things that I got for my mom because you know her pretty well over the years. And here is something that's really more for ladies. So it's a water bottle for when my mom takes lady to the beach. And this top part folds into a bowl here. You can see an illustration right here so that um, she doesn't have to carry like a separate bowl and all in one and lady is such a diva she loves her water super cold so i figured my mom could also put ice cubes in there so that the water will be perfectly chilled for the poodle um then i got her like a shimmering bronzer i don't know if i can open this to show you i'm not going to mess with it but you can kind of see the color of it on the back so it's a highlight and bronze combination and my mom has more olive skin than i do so i think that will look really nice on her and just be like a fun new product to try she doesn't try, um, change up her makeup that often normally so I like to get her a little something once in a while for that. And then the pouch that I was getting confused with earlier is this one that has something that is completely bespoke for her. So I ordered these fancy Omega clips because they're supposed to be extra comfortable. And I know, so her ears are unpierced, by the way, if you don't know. And mine used to be as well until I was well into my early 20s. Um, I decided to get my ears pierced when I finished law school. So I believe I was 21 or 22 when I got my ears pierced. I'm sure I say it more accurately in another video. It's just a long time ago now and um, I've never looked back on it, but my mom doesn't want to get hers pierced because she has so many earrings that are clips. And so I made her these, which are Tahitian pearls with the Omega clip. And I think they'll be extra comfortable. And they're really pretty pearls. They have a little bit of a gray blue kind of undertone, I think. And I'm gonna pop these in. 
that'll be her jewelry gift and she already has another jewelry gift under the tree which is a custom ring that I designed um, but what I did is I actually um, got two for us they're both blue stones but different stones I might show you in a different video and it's a twisted design that I designed and then had made and it was so late by months that it was actually meant to be her birthday present but then I got her a different ring because it never showed up in time it just wasn't finished and so it finally showed up and I told her to put it under the tree so we each have a ring in there um, to kind of be a surprise to both of us I mean I've seen renderings of it and cat drawings um, in my own um, sketch of it but um, I haven't actually seen the finished thing in person so that'll be a real surprise on Christmas Day tomorrow I feel like that's kind of the gift from Santa if Santa handmade jewelry I feel like that would be the gift from Santa since it's kind of a surprise to everyone involved um, what else do I have to show you? I feel like there's not too much more that's going to be exciting to you. I have a lot of little kind of presents to wrap. I have some orange chocolates. I already gave my mom the bonbon truffles that you saw me get um, in Washington earlier. And um, fortunately, they traveled really well. None of them looked melted. So I gave those to her this morning kind of like ASAP so she could enjoy some while she cooks. And also so I could make sure they were still as fresh as possible, um, which somehow putting them under the tree didn't seem like a good idea so I'm gonna wrap all of these things and I know we always have a special moment while I wrap so why don't I get started and we can chat a little bit have any of you tried this so this is another gift to my mom but I'm sure I will try it as well it's a tripolar and it's the second most expensive one I've heard pretty good reviews but still not seen all that much about it um, online so so it's a skin treatment device they call it a skin rejuvenation device it's similar to a lot of in salon type treatments Let's see if I can focus on this so you can see a little bit more but it uses radio frequency and you basically apply a gel to your face and then I think hopefully yeah it does come with some to get started um, but I've heard you can just buy some like a cheap version online once you run out and it's just supposed to help with wrinkles skin texture all that sort of, sort of good stuff my mom isn't into anything that you have to go to a salon or an esthetician or doctor or anything for um, with your skin um, so I thought she would quite enjoy trying this at home and we can try it together it'll be kind of our fun watch a Christmas movie and radio frequency our face kind of activity I don't know kind of weird but kind of fun let me know if any of you have tried it and what your results were like if you have I do you really like all the tassels on this dress it makes me feel like a Christmas tree in a good way and if my cats were here they would enjoy playing with this no doubt ladies water bottle first and you guys know I always cut the paper too short This year I will try not to cut my dress as well on top of that. The nice thing is I have quite a few small items, so any sort of mess ups I can hopefully just use the scraps. Alright, heart to heart time. So the last couple of years have been a very weird time to be on the internet. I've definitely noticed it's become a much more intense and aggressive place than it ever used to be. It was never an easy thing to be a part of. There are always people who will disagree, say hurtful things, trolls, all sorts of things like that that um, unfortunately just seem to come with the territory and I've never thought that that is right but it certainly is reality. I can't hold this one too much or it's not going to be big enough. Alright, I'll do that. Um, but the last two years, I feel like I noticed that balance shifting in, unfortunately, a negative way where it started to be the kind of space that made it hard to feel proud to be part of at all or to be, a, to continue to be a part of at all. Um, 
But I actually have a positive message here, which is this holiday season, I've noticed an incredible amount of positivity, hopefulness, and sweetness and kindness from my community. And I feel so incredibly proud of that and thankful for that in ways that I don't even quite have the words for. I think being able to have that makes the difficulties worth it to me personally and makes me feel empowered to continue so that maybe someday other women who have full-time careers as I do or another life than an online life will feel safe in having their own platform and their own her voice heard in whatever way they see fit. And my voice is mainly, you know, focused on aesthetic things, lifestyle things, and silly things. That's always what I've wanted since I started my YouTube channel, was to have it be a little bit of an escape from the serious. But the funny thing is, even in doing that and having, you know, not a particularly deep motive in starting that, you nonetheless can make a difference, I think, in the ability of others someday to feel comfortable in a space that I know firsthand can be a difficult one. And so I really wanna thank you for being a part of that because even though, you know, you see me shopping on Waikiki yesterday, I like to talk about aesthetic things, decorative things, there is a bigger message that underlies that, which is I am a full-time career woman who survived a lot and you've seen me falter. You have seen me go through really bad situations and I hope that me still standing here, still talking about silly things sometimes, still doing my thing, living my life, making the content that I want to make and achieving the things I want to achieve on the side, like taking the bar and moving to a new place and being in a relationship that makes me happy. All of those things hopefully sink in as the ability to just roll with the punches and keep going and that there is space in this online world, this sphere, for me to do that and have that be on show, I guess, in a way that not everyone would feel comfortable with. And I've had to set healthy boundaries for myself, what I hope are healthy boundaries, um, especially over the last year. And I really want to thank you for respecting those, making me feel like that's something that I can do. And hopefully that you can do as well in whatever way you need to in your life. Um, I see so many people posting about love on social media all of these memes and all of these messages and I completely agree with the message but I think sometimes it's the practice of it that is the hardest and I feel like I've built a community on here that exemplifies what that means in giving me the freedom to be myself on here feel accepted and feel respected because isn't respecting other people their decisions their journey such a big part of what it means to love them that's what it means to me at least so getting kind of heavy here so maybe i should concentrate on my wrapping but i did want to say something to that effect and i hope that that is communicated to you and i ran out of batteries i'm just gonna keep wrapping all of these presents now before i continue to ramble in a heartfelt way i guess i'm just feeling extra sappy with Christmas here. But I really didn't want to miss this chance to have our yearly heart to heart. And I'm sure I will make more videos speaking a little bit more about my journey, being online and studying for the bar and doing all of the things that I've done in the new year. That is something that I have been planning. But until then, I want to make sure that I nonetheless sent you a message of thankfulness, of love and of togetherness in the ability to have this community be so enduring throughout all the things that I have gone through and that I know you have as well, just from your messages over the last few years, but also over the last decade. Voila, here's my stack. Hi, hi ladies. <laughs>
Hi. Coming to take some photos here in the beautiful garden. And I love how they always plant poinsettias. It's just so gorgeous. So many fishies. Yeah, it's Christmas dinner for the fishies. Christmas dinner. <laughs> Did I get extra? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a moment since I mentioned a dress from Eliza J, but it's not because they're not my favorite anymore. I still love them for special occasions. So this is this year's. I love the embroidered blue flowers that they're actually embroidered instead of just being printed on. And that it's a neutral background that makes it feel a little more modern somehow for them than some of their other designs. Um, and I just love the gold. It's just perfect for a holiday dress, I think. And it's a fin flare as their dresses always are, and then I'm just wearing some really old nude heels. I keep a pair here for when I have a moment in need of a simple shoe. So that's my holiday Christmas outfit. Christmas Daffy Duck, and gravy is coming shortly. The best part of all, duck fat roast potatoes, the best. We're home, and it's time for some Christmas hot chocolate. So I'm going to make my mom's classic hot chocolate for you, and if you haven't seen this before in my videos, it's been quite a few years I think since I've made it. So it's one cup of milk, so this is for two. This is whole milk, but I feel like I grew up with 2%. And then half a cup of cream. And it is meant to be rich, so you don't want to make two en enormous portions. I used to do that, and then you don't finish it. And then about a quarter cup of sugar. You can use maple syrup as well. Good amount of chocolate. I have these really good little baking chips. Dark chocolate, of course. Oops, I'm splashing. <laughs> That's we get. And then the really important part that I think makes this a Belgian hot chocolate is some good cocoa powder. You want to be generous with that as well, and so that's why you do need enough sugars to sort of outweigh the bitterness of the cocoa. And you use about a tablespoon per mug. And use a tiny bit more. I like my pretty rich. And then you whisk away. Isn't this whisk kind of fun? Until everything is hot and dissolved and it looks like it's not going to happen because the cocoa always floats on the top and it looks like it's going to be a disaster but it never is it always turns out delicious and perfect thing to sip on while you watch a christmas movie i think some love actually might be in our future we'll see and while you wait it's the perfect time to toss the ball yes good job good job with your christmas ball yeah are you gonna give it back do you want me to do it again yes maybe maybe not all right so with this first sip of hot chocolate which I really do encourage you to make if you've never made it before it does taste much better than the powder stuff I'm gonna now wish you a very Merry Christmas to you and your families. Thank you so much for being a part of mine as you have perhaps for other years before. It's something that I treasure every year. I'll try and get this up as soon as possible so that maybe you can watch it in that little bit of a lull before New Year's. But since I also am gonna take a bit of a social media break until we get to 2022, I also want to wish you a healthy and happy New Year as well as a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I will see you in my next installment on Style. Cheers. Thank you.